Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. You know, it's been about three or four weeks since our last unboxing of some WADA certified video games, so I think we're well overdue. So today we have two boxes of video games freshly back from WADA, so we're going to cut into these and see what we have. We typically pre-screen all our submissions on air so you guys can watch. Uh, we go through every game we're going to send, we kind of get an estimate of what we think we're going to get, what kind of seal rating, what kind of overall grade. But this submission was kind of all over the place. Uh, it's not one specific system. We have, I think, Nintendo, some Nintendo 64, some Super Nintendo, I think PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, I think there's Xbox in there as well. So we went ahead and just sent this one in to see what, you know, see what kind of grades we're going to get. So this will be a surprise for all you guys that have been following the channel because we didn't actually pre-screen these. So these are going to be some fresh new titles for you guys take a look at it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for us too because we send so much stuff off for submission here and there that we kind of don't always remember what we send in so it's gonna be a surprise for everybody so let's go ahead and cut into our first box and see what we have I think there's only about 20 games in this submission so it shouldn't take us too long to go through them but I think there's some really good titles in here Spin this around here a little bit. All right, now we're all set up. Let's say our first game. Oh, now this, for instance, like I said, there's some really good titles in this. Battle Toads. This is a Battle Toads 9.2 B plus. We don't usually send in games if we think they're going to B plus. We typically try just try to go for A seals. But a 9.2 on this is a great grade, very tough game, considered one of the toughest games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is a, consider also one of the toughest games ever created, all video games ever created. But, you know, I thought this would probably be an A seal at least, but we got a B plus. But 9.2 B plus on Battletoads, not terrible grade. I wish the seal grade was a little bit better, but like I said, considered one of the toughest games ever created for the uh, home console. So really pleased with the grade. Super cool game. You don't see these pop up that much anymore. All right, here's another one. This You just don't see them that much anymore. You see them pop up a lot more frequently. Crazy Taxi. Now, this is another 9.2, but this is an A-Seal. Now, this is a port of the 1999 uh, Sega arcade game. Uh, if you guys remember, remember playing this game, you're a crazy taxi driver. It, it, you know, this was one of the, this was during the era of, era of all the driver games that kind of came on the late 90s, early 2000s. There was a ton of driver games that came out. This one here is 2001. So this is like in that five, six year period where you had Driver, Grand Theft Auto, um, Crazy Taxi, a ton of other driver games that came out. So it was kind of the driver game era. And this was, this was a very tongue in cheek uh, game. So a lot of people do remember this. Very popular title, a 9.2A. We're pleased with that grade. Crazy Taxi for the PlayStation 2. Oh, let me rearrange these. Okay. All right, here we go. Like I said, some really good titles in this group. Here is a Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1, a 9.6A++. Now this is one of the best selling games for the PlayStation. I think the seventh best game. Yeah, the seventh best selling game for the PlayStation. How many games did it sell? Four, uh, six, over six million. So very, very, very popular game. You see this trading pretty high in the secondary market, especially in high grade like this, 9.6 or, or 9.8. So very pleased with this grade. 9.6 A++ for Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. All right, so far so good. The one for that Battletoads B plus rating on the seal, we'd be extremely happy. Let's see here. Okay, here's another one that you just don't see that much anymore. This is Quake for the Nintendo 64. You used to see these kind of pop up all the time. What did we get on this one? Ah, 8.5 A plus uh, plus. 8.5 for the Nintendo 64 games. You know these these cardboard boxes these the Nintendo 64 games came in were very thin so there's a lot a lot of crushing on these a lot of corner dings a lot of corner dents a lot of damage due, due to the boxes so you know an 8.5 is a pretty good grade for a nintendo 64 game we really don't want to go below that but very tough to get a high grade on these nintendo 64 games the boxes just were not meant to last 
you know, none of these boxes are meant to last. They're meant to be ripped apart and the game is taken out and played. But this one here, you used to see these pop up quite frequently, but nowadays you really don't see these quakes come up anymore. An 8.5, A++, very cool game. We're pleased with that grade, which is a nine, but you know, like I said, the Nintendo 64 games, very tough to get a good grade out of these. Okay, now these are some of my favorite titles for the Xbox 360. Here we have Destroy All Humans. This is a Path, path of Furon. Now this is a 9.8A++. Can't get any better than that, you know, and you don't really want to go any lower than that for these Xbox 360 games. There were a lot of them out there. This one here, you don't see that much. This one here was actually more of a, was actually a little bit lower production run. It definitely had a big uh, fan base when they came out, but the copies were all, you know, open and played. You really don't see these sealed. And these weren't made in the hundreds of millions like some of the other games. These were actually a little bit lighter production run. Um, so you don't really see these sealed too much pop up. You do see them in a complete box. Even in a complete box, they do draw a pretty good price. It's a 9.8 A++. We are very happy with this one. The Path of the Furon is uh, one of the tougher titles of this Destroy All Human series. So this is the one that you want to get if you see these pop up. I think this is the fourth installment in that series. So this is for the Xbox 360. Like I mentioned, these games are kind of all over the place. That's why we didn't pre-screen them. Here we have a PlayStation 2. Now this is one that everybody's going to recognize. Great title. PlayStation 2, God of War. Now this is a 9.6 A++. Very happy with that grade. This is the 11th best-selling game on the system. It sold, what, 4.6 million copies. All the information is, of course, on the back of the label here. That's why sometimes we have to double check. But this game here, God of War, this is the original title. This is the black label for PlayStation 2. A 9.6 A++. Now this, I don't think, has the Sony seal on it, does it? No, this does not have the Sony seal. The very, very first iteration of these had a Sony security seal on them. This one here does not, but still the black label version. So great grade on that game, 9.6, A++, very happy with that. Be happier for the 9.8, but 9.6, you know, is a great uh, grade on this game. You just now these did get absorbed in, from the market. You just really do not see the God of Wars pop up. You used to see them all the time. You used to be able to get them affordably, but they were always really heavily collected. So, really great game. Really glad to get a 9.6 out of that. Here we have Final Fantasy VII, and we got dog. <laughs> we got dogged on this one. A 7.0 B plus. Eh, that's our worst grade of this box and probably one of the worst grades that we've received back from WADA. Let me see why this is... So, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a hole in the seal on the back of this and it, the, the game was actually drilled here in the top. It was drilled all the way through. So this almost looks like a hanger game, one that was actually hanging from the wire rings on the rack. And yeah, that, that will definitely affect the grade. So 7.0 B plus for the... Final Fantasy VII. Now, this is kind of considered the quintessential episode of the Final Fantasy series. This is actually also one of the best-selling uh, uh, versions, I mean, best-selling episodes of the series itself, episode seven. This here is, yeah, this is the highest-selling game in the Final Fantasy series. So this is one that everybody kind of considers the quintessential game, the game that actually encompassed what Final Fantasy was all about. So this is the one that all collectors are after. It's either Final Fantasy 1 or Final Fantasy 7 that everyone wants to add to their collection. This one here in 7.0 B+, you know, that's not a very good grade. You know, we probably shouldn't have sent that one in, but we'd like to send in all these, all the hot titles, all the heavy, heavily collected titles to see what we want to get out of these, you know, just in case somebody needs one for their collection. But this is not really a incredibly high grade on that game. We have seen them in a little bit higher grade. Okay, another PlayStation 2. Now here's another one that was tremendously popular when it came out, Guitar Hero. Now this is 9.4 A+, is that right? Yeah, 9.4 A+, super popular game. Once again, a game you used to see on the market all the time, but recently they've been trading in auctions for good premium. So this is a game that has definitely shot up in value. 
this is you know if you have one of these in your collection you might want to consider hanging on to it or getting it graded there seems to not be all that many of these sealed out there anymore there's a ton of these complete in box you know our opinion stay away from those go for the sealed ones but this is the first game in the guitar hero series this is one that everybody's after if they're collecting this particular series or collecting for the playstation 2 so guitar hero for playstation 2 a 9.4 a plus pretty happy with that grade like i said you don't really see those too much people that was a heavily played game everybody loved that game when it came out okay here we go another xbox 360. this is another iteration uh, another episode in the destroy all humans franchise now this here is the first game in the franchise destroy all humans as you can see right here now this is for the xbox 9.8 like i said you know you can't get any better than that grade and that is a such a cool game this is for the xbox sorry i said xbox 360 but look at this 9.8 for the destroy all humans can't get any better than that and oh, a plus plus seal you know that is and it has the security strip on the outside there super cool incredibly pleased with that grade this is one that everybody is after so we're glad that we got a 9.8 on this one that is a cool cool game i don't know if you ever played this game super fun developed a cult following just very tongue-in-cheek you know it's a fun game worth looking up if you haven't played it yet okay now here's one we picked up actually at a flea market this is mighty Morphin power rangers now this is an 8.0 a like i said we actually got this at a flea market um about a year ago it has a hang tab this here of course is based on the 1993 tv series this is for the super nintendo mighty Morphin power rangers as you know they've been adding new power rangers to the lineup so i think there's a, a white ranger now and a green ranger as well so it's definitely been in the news a lot more because of the comic books they keep adding like i said rangers to the to the lineup so people it's renewing interest so a lot of collectors are jumping back into the video games and trying to pick up a lot of the mighty morphin power video games as well so this is the first one of the series for the super nintendo entertainment system like i said an 8.0 not tremendously fantastic but like i said this is a great find at a flea market so 8.0 a we're happy with that grade like i said we picked that up about a year ago at a flea market impossible to find games at flea markets nowadays like i said everybody's kind of onto the trend so those games are tough to find at flea markets okay well, i don't think we're gonna be able to shut that so let's leave that open go to our next box here second box okay there we go got it at the top let's see Okay, let me spin it around. Okay. Let's see what we have in our second one. All right. Another PlayStation 2 game. God of War. This is the same as the other one that we sh showed you in the other box, but this is a 9.4 A+. Once again, incredibly popular game. Heavily collected. So, and heavily coveted. So this here is the first iteration in the God of War series. This is the one everybody's after. 9.4 A+. We're happy with that grade. So we have here. Okay, now this one here is actually a cool game. Interesting story. This is the Guy game for PlayStation 2. This is a 9.6 A+. Now this is a very controversial game. This is an adult theme game. So it has a mature rating. This one here was actually banned in the U.S. And kind of banned in a lot of other, other countries as well but it, it kind of received a claim by being banned in the u.s the reason being is that the one of the participants in the game one of the young girls was actually 17 when they filmed the footage this game is a kind of a beach volleyball game the better you the better you progress through the game the more clothing the the co-eds the female co-eds lose as they play volleyball so one of the girls that they actually shot for this particular game was underage at the time that they filmed it uh, she became of age by the time i think it was released but since the film was shot with her underage huge scandal the game was banned very few copies out there on the market this is a game that you know is very tough to find so if you're collecting for the ps2 you do need this game in your collection if you're trying to get the whole series 
Very tough game to find. Not trading for a huge premium right now. So this is one for a controversial game, a game that was banned. This is one that's actually still really affordable on the market. 9.68 plus. Very happy with that grade. The guy game. Okay, we have another guy game. I guess we've seen it in two of these. Now this is a 9.6A. Same as the other game, of course. 9.6A. 9.6A or A+. Plus. Happy with those grades. Okay. Now here's one that, you know, this franchise is one of the hottest for the Sega. Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega Genesis. This is a 9.2B+. Plus again. You know, this this group here, we've actually had, what, two or three B pluses. That's our worst seal group that we've ever sent in. I don't think we've ever received a submission with more than one B grade. Now, there's a little hole there. Hmm. I only see one hole on the in the seal, but one hole is all it takes to get a B plus. So, 9.2 B plus. This here is, of course, the, the second... Uh, installment in the Mortal Kombat franchise. One of the hottest franchises for the Sega Genesis system. So if you're collecting for Sega Genesis, you need that one, but a 9.2 B plus. Not too happy with the seal grade, but a B plus we can live, uh, 9.2 we can live with. Okay, now this is one that's been picking up steam lately in the, in the secondary market. This is Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man. 9.4 A plus is what we got out of this one. Spider-Man Venom, Maximum Carnage. Now this is a the red cartridge version, I believe. Yeah, there's a special red cartridge edition. So this is the one with the red cartridge inside. A 9.4A+. First Spider-Man game to receive the teen rating. So they typically all have the uh, everyone rating. This is the teen rating. This is for the Super Nintendo, as you can see. An LJN game, like I mentioned before in other videos. If you collect the LJN brand, they produce a series of action figure toy line that, you know, the action figures from the 80s and 90s that everybody collects. LJN is super popular toy brand, toy line that everybody collects. So when they produce video games, you have a lot of crossover with collectors. So people do love the LJN video games. A 9.4 A+. Okay. Here we go with another PlayStation game. Driver is 8.5 A. Once again, this is during the era of all the drivers. This came out in, I think, 99. This is the first installment in the driver franchise. But very popular game, hugely critically successful when it came out. I think it sold a million copies in 1999 alone. So very popular game, heavily collected. People love this one. Nine, oh, sorry, 8.5A. Decent grade for this game for how fragile these early jewel cases are. So. We're very pleased with that grade, 8.5A for the driver. I thought we'd send in two of those, and we did. Here's the second one. All right. Now we're talking. Look at this. A 9.4. 9.4A. So, very pleased with that grade. Like I said, these jewel cases, they just do not last. They're always cracked. So, to get one that's not cracked in high grade like this, you know, it's tough. It's tough these days. There you go. A, you know, quintessential characters of the 90s. Beavis and Butthead, the video game. A 9.0A+. Now, this is, of course, based on the cartoon in the 90s. This is for Super Nintendo. And a 9.0A+, great grade on any Super Nintendo game. Like the Nintendo 64 great, uh, games, these boxes are very thin. The cardboard is very thin paper. They didn't make, you know, this is before they started making them the clamshells and the plastic cases. So these are very tough to get good grades out of. So a 9.0 A plus for the Beavis and Butthead. You know, I don't know if, if you didn't grow up with that cartoon, it's worth taking a look at. I think they're probably on still showing reruns, I'm sure. Mike Judge's first television series. Here we go. Medieval or medieval. This is a 8.5 B plus, you know, another B plus. We are just not getting a lot of good seal grades. Maybe that's why we didn't actually pre-screen these because they were so bad. No, we, um, like I said, we just didn't pre-screen them because they were just a hodgepodge, but we did not expect such a bad seal grade on this game. I'm actually looking at it right now and I just do not see 
any holes in that cellophane. But I am not the professional grader, so they probably saw something I do not see. So here you go, Medieval. So a lot of these titles that we're showing you guys today are actually in the upcoming Heritage Auction in the end of October of 2020. There's a lot of these titles that are popping up in Heritage, not these particular games, but a lot of these same titles. So a lot of these are coming to market for, for the first time. So we're glad that we got these in when we did because there's gonna be a lot of interest in some of these games. Medieval here, we haven't seen this one sell for about a year in any grade. So 8.5 B+, plus. you know, we wish it was an A seal rating, but 8.5 on this, good grade. Like I said, tough to get good grades out of this early PlayStation jewel cases. So our 20th game, our last game ever unboxing for today is another Guitar Hero. It's a 9.2B. I think that's like six Bs that we've got out of this collection. So not a great seal group. Probably our worst seal group that we've ever received back from WADA. But I can see the hole right there in the cellophane. So, and the hole right there. So they graded accurately, should be a B. It's not even a B plus because that's holes right on the front of this case and very noticeable. So there you go, 9.2B for Guitar Hero for the PlayStation 2. So there you have our submission for today. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Please drop us some comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles and we'll see you again next time.